Zack Snyder has revealed that the major plot twist in Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire was planned from the very beginning. As the last of Netflix's new movies for 2023 was released on December 21 in the US, December 22 internationally, fans of Snyder and movie enthusiasts have likely already watched the filmmaker's latest high-budget film. And if you have, you know about the shocking betrayal that takes place in the final act. Warning! Major spoilers for Rebel Moon Part 1 ahead. If you haven't seen it yet, turn back now. In the movie, Cora, played by Sophia Botella, gathers a group of warriors to protect Velt from the tyrannical galactic superpower known as the Motherworld. They make their way to the spaceport called Gondavor before heading to the moon-based outpost for their final stand. However, they are ambushed by the Imperium forces of the Motherworld, led by Admiral Atticus Noble, played by Ed Skrine, and the group is captured. But how did the Imperium know their location? Well, it turns out there was a traitor among them, and it was none other than Kai, played by Charlie Hunnam, the space pilot mercenary who initially agreed to help Cora and Gunnar, played by Michelle Weeman, gather the group of insurgents. This revelation left viewers across the globe calling Kai all sorts of names, including Betrayer, Backstabber, and Double Crosser. With so many mysterious characters joining forces to aid Korra's defense of Velt, why was Kai chosen as the betrayer in Rebel Moon? In an interview with TechRadar, Snyder shed light on the decision. He explained, it was always Kai. I saw it as a mythological misdirect in this genre. His journey should have been one of redemption, and there's the possibility for him and Korra to have some sort of a love interest. It also seems unlikely it would be Gunnar or Kai who would betray the group, so I thought it would be fun to have one of them commit the sin. But we picked Kai early on, and that's who we stuck with. Unfortunately for Kai, his plan backfires, and he meets his downfall before the credits roll. The timid Gunnar, who is not seen as a major threat by the Imperium, becomes the hero by freeing the captives and killing Kai. While some viewers may be disappointed to see Hunnam's time in the Rebel Moon universe end prematurely, there is good news. Snyder is currently working on an R-rated director's cut of the film, which will be longer than the initial PG-13 version. This extended version will feature more of Kai's character. Some of the cast members were surprised by the length of the director's cut, so if you found the original film to be lengthy, you're not alone. In conclusion, Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire delivers a thrilling plot twist that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The film's director, Zack Snyder, had planned this twist from the beginning, and it adds an exciting element to the story. Fans can look forward to seeing more of Kai's character in the upcoming director's cut of the film.